I have a lot of students email me, call me, or I see them uh, in some of my classes. I teach a lot of classes. I teach them by using Skype. It's really great because we don't have a lot of expense and traveling and all that. And my advice to a lot of these uh, beginning students is to make sure that you've studied the basics of audio. Go back into the 30s and read what Bell Labs did. Harry Olson, Dr. Fletcher, Dr. Munson, all of the early guys that learned about these things, what they do and what they don't do. And so many times I find engineers that don't even understand the Fletcher-Munson curve of our ear. They don't realize how and why we hear this or that. So their equalizations are off. Their sounds really aren't as good as they could be because they miss the basics. But who is telling you to go back and read stuff in the 1920s and 30s? I am, because that's how I learned it. I went back in the early days, and I did it because one man, Paul Klipsch, who was the father of the folded horn, Paul came to me because he wanted to learn from me in 1970 why I would build a 30,000-watt PA system for the WHO. Well, I did it because there was a need. But then he taught me about efficiency. He taught me about Fletcher Munson. He taught me many, many things. He said, Heil, you go back and you study those Bell Lab studies in the 20s and 30s. And when I did... All of a sudden, this big 30,000 watts becomes 10,000. It was louder. It sounded better because we have applied that early science, really the human science of our hearing. And so I advise every student to do that. Go back and make those studies. Today, it's really easy with the, with the computer, but study some of that. And the most important thing you can learn is about Phasing. It is absolutely the most incredible thing you can do is to learn about phasing. It affects everything we do, and we don't hear anything about it. You certainly do from me because it is what drives our products and what drives this industry. So pay attention to that. Read those studies and apply them. And for whatever you do, make sure you continue to have fun.